Hello everyone. A couple months ago, I announced I would begin to pursue talent management as a way of generating income as I continued to pursue some larger projects. But things very went quickly went south when my first client decided to break his promise to me, putting me in the very embarrassing position of having to tell my fans I'd been fired after only one day. I knew I couldn't give up though, so I began reaching out to many talented actors across LA and put together a, an incredible roster of almost 15 new clients. In addition to being incredibly talented, this group of clients are also just genuinely good people, and they mean the world to me. With that said, ever since I was fired by Jake, I've had an underlying feely, feeling of worry about talent management, rather than the feeling of excitement and security I originally began with. One amazing person I met through this process was my mentor Dakota, and while speaking to him a few weeks ago, I began to understand where this worry was coming from. That's kind of how I feel right now. I'm like, because right. I, I like was working with one client and then because he left right away, I was like, I need to just work with a million clients right, at once. Right. That way, if anyone comes or goes, but then all of a sudden I had 15 clients and I'm like, oh wait, what now? Right. That's so, part of the industry though. You just, you just never know too, because you can't control someone else's life. Yeah. So it's like very hard to like, are you serious about this? Because I'm about to invest my time in you. So it's a very like... It, it a was a little bit blindsiding. You know? Right. And I think that I think that my dream was to have one client initially so I could learn the process right. with someone who was also learning the process. And so I was like, that's what I really wanted. But now that I have 15 clients, I'm like, oh no. Yeah, that can I'm be, a little nervous. Yeah, it sounds overwhelming, you know. Yeah. Especially if you if you're very new to the industry, it's like mm -hmm. you're like, uh, okay, what do I do now? As I reflected on our conversation, things became clear to me. I had originally wanted to start out with just one client so that I could learn and grow alongside him, but instead I'd thrown myself straight into the deep end and I was feeling overwhelmed because I didn't want to let my clients down. Over the next few days, I kept finding myself having a fantasy daydream about finding out that Jake was in prison. I imagined how if this occurred, I could make a video about it, letting my fans know that Jake was a bad person who is now actually in jail. But in reality, Jake is actually a very nice person. So I began to wonder, why was I even daydreaming about this? And I realized it was because if my audience found out that Jake was a bad person, then they would blame him for the firing me instead of the blame being on me. Basically, what I realized is that not only was I afraid of letting my clients down, but also my audience. Over the course of my career in the public eye, I've trailed, tried and failed at many things. I've tried certain risky collaborations, I've attempted to launch multiple business ideas that didn't pan out, I promised my fans that I would get to 1 million subscribers last year and was unable to reach it in time, and this embarrassing pattern goes all the way back to childhood, most notably documented in the famous videos Diary 30 and 31. Back in January, I made a promise to myself and my family that this year would be different, and whenever I launched my talent agency announcement, I felt like this was the action that would snap me out of this lifelong pattern I have felt stuck in. Which brings me to today. I'm in a position where I fully believe that I could succeed as a talent manager if I put, dedicated my life to that, but I currently have three other big projects I'm trying to create, and I know that if I tried to do all of these things at once, I would stretch myself thin, and that would not be fair to my clients. And this is why I'm announcing that I will no longer be pursuing talent management. I feared that this would be an embarrassing announcement to make since it felt like admitting failure once again, but then I realized that this experience has not been a failure at all. If I had never attempted to accomplish this dream, I would have never met this incredible group of people that's with me here today, who are some of the best people I've met in LA, and who I will continue collaborating on with many more, for many more projects in the future. You cannot spend your life running from failure or humiliation. It's a natural part of the process towards accomplishing your dreams. Every time I've failed in the past, something incredible has inevitably come out of it. And one of the best things to come out of the decision to pursue this dream was the launching of Dion's Dungeon. Dion's Dungeon is a show that people have been loving so far, and which me and Dion have some huge plans for. I will share a bit more about those plans and what else is next in just a moment, but first, here's a quick quote from Dion. You have power over your mind. No outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. In my original talent management announcement, I mentioned that I would be making short films with my clients in order to practice my directing and grow my channel with short films, while also providing my clients with footage for their reels and growing their audience. Although we will no longer be working together in the talent management capacity, we will continue making short films, beginning next week with a short film that we'll be shooting in just a moment, so stay tuned for that, it'll be up on the channel next week. I also have three huge projects I'm working on, and I will not fear failure or humiliation as I work on them, because I know at least one of them will work out, and if the others don't work out, I'm sure something good will come out of it regardless. 
I'm so grateful for, that I met this group of guys. I'm so grateful I have an understanding fan base and I can't wait to get to, to work on my three big projects. I hope this inspires you to chase your own dreams as well. And before we go, here's one more quote from Dion. One thing Marcus Aurelius always used to say was, dig within. Within is good and it's always ready to bubble up if you just dig. So how do you guys feel about uh, everything? Feel good. Yeah. Good so far. Excited. And are you excited to get going on this short film? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, super stoked. Yes. Well, stay tuned, everyone. That's coming next week. So get ready. It's going to be awesome.